Hi guys, been a while. So I want to try something new. It's a bit more not live coding, but kind of more unedited. So the idea being is, is that if I run it this way, instead of spending about an hour trying to get the videos right and not end up doing it because I've got other stuff to do and whatnot, um, try a bit more like an unedited live coding. So I like spend 50 minutes on the video, see how far I get, and then we kind of, if it needs to, we carry on or maybe I just kind of like put the two videos together. Um, so yeah, I was also kind of trying to put my face down here, so so um, you guys can see me. Maybe a bit, a, bit, a bit better kind of a human experience rather than me just kind of talking through the through the program. So we can kind of um, I don't know, connect a bit better. Anyway, um, so the other thing I've tried to do now is I know that some of you guys said that uh, the font is a bit too small. You're having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. So I also tried to increase the font a bit, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, so what we're going to try and do now is we're going to now together try and figure out how to get Laravel to talk to a Postgres server that's been secured with certificates, right? So, um, oh, well, kind of let's get started. So, um, I've kind of got my previous server from last time up and running over here. So cool, kind of got a server. Awesome. Um, so let's get started. Um, so one of the things I've kind of did a little while before I decided to start doing the stream is in the in the main I've kind of got on uh, yeah, I think it's supposed because I kind of did the listen address not no no it's not the idea being is I'm running this in the VM and I want to try to connect to this from my local PC and my local PC has got a, a Laravel app running here and you'll see in the database is that in the env file we're kind of connected to a postgres server so the first thing i need to do with this is go back here get the ip address of this server put it in in here so this is this is kind of like a test app so what i do with the test app is is just is literally to test up. so if i'm writing kind of writing a new package then i'll do it in like a laravel test app and once i'm happy with it i'll try to apply it to let's say some other project and i think one default user of password was Postgres, and what I'll probably also end up needing to do is over here is to um, yes, you know, try to connect to it. Okay, so I need to do this from my so create database test app. I think cool. So what we're going to try now do is from the Laravel one, this is not going to work, but I will use, okay, so what is that? Like I said, not going to work, but not for the reasons I thought. Okay, so, as it goes for better, okay, so I'll probably end up going to copy paste that into the Postgres 10, uh, it's going to be main again, it's going to be in the HG, HP, File config and let's just see over here, paste that. See if this works maybe. Um, restart Postgres. Okay. Let's see what is going to connect. Connection refused. Like I said, it's confusing with the correction. So I'm assuming this is because we don't have certificates. Now, let's see, where is Chrome? Okay, so Chrome is over here. So, FYI for guys in interest, I kind of did a Laravel preset package that uses Tailwind for the, like, the Laravel auth pages. Um, let's see, clone that up. Um, let's see, so let's say Postgres, Laravel, um, What's, what's it load all of the lab? So long. Certificate. Do that. Okay, cool. Sorry, just turning off my notifications. Um, let's see. So let's see on Laura Cost if they've got something in here. So let's see if configure database. Nope, don't really see something. So we're looking basically for something that says this is how you tell Laravel to pass through the the CA files and the client certificates. Um, so I've got SSL, I prefer to change this. 
So now I don't want to disable it, definitely don't want to disable it. Okay, let's see. Let's solve the first quest, how to form it. Okay, so this is kind of like the steps for generating the certificates. Um, I'll leave a link to this page for like if you want to know how to generate all the certificates. So it's, it's kind of a nice like a like a blog post about the last video I did about securing certificates. Not that I used it, but I'll link it just just in case you guys want to go through it. Um, let's see, maybe just actually if you want to link it, maybe bookmark it for now. Um, sorry. Where were we? Postgres, Laravel, certificates. Maybe if I do this. No, tell me why on earth doesn't Laravel quickly. Okay, let's see. So we kind of got to verify options here. So maybe we should actually just try to start with this. Um, so we go to the database for, for Postgres. Where is the Postgres? Okay, so there's the Postgres. So let's see. Is this on mode so we can take off that one and then we should have options and then let's see so now down up here we've got the the, the extension for that so it's probably going to end up looking the same and then these things are probably going to be associative arrays for some sort of key so i see this one's got this attribute sql ca let's see what else is in this file okay because I see this is like for PDO in general, so this should maybe we want for Postgres. So let's see if there's another CA down here. It might actually just be that for some weird reason the Postgres would be using the same one for as my SQL for the for the CA. Would be weird, but anyway, let's see. see um, we're gonna back. Hmm. Let's put PDO drivers, um, PDO Postgres. Let's see what they've got here. So I've got a bunch of stuff and then video database subject. Okay, so let's see what the PDO DSN stuff is. So DNN examples, PDO database password. Okay, so this is starting to look interesting. So my assumption is, is that we might be able to pass through the same variables we had for the for Postgres of here, so like the SSL certificate, like let's see, um, maybe so odd guess, but let's see. So, nice thing with Laravel, we've got the let's do put in the storage path and then. Let's see what happens when we try to connect. So when we try to connect, we get the developer earth post based test. Okay. Where if my test happened now? My folder. That's the right fault to do. I guess this fault is it. Anyway. Call back of folder, fault to use key, pass key as the only argument to call back instead of the value. Anyway, deal with that later. Let's see what else is done. Yeah, it's video has name DB the Can I 
Let's see what's the plan for the figures, plan for the deck, da da da. Okay. Where's the first grace one again? Okay, so let's see. First grace is full. Actually, just that part. I wonder if I do this is also it. Or something separate. Okay. That in there. I'm gonna move to that options again. Gonna fix that. I'm gonna see what this says now. Leaving a lot of Okay, cool. Okay, so we got the SSL set in there. Now let's see, because that kind of looks like what we passed through last time. If we look at the, if we look at this, so we need the SSL key as well. And I'm going to make this storage as well, put this in the storage path, and then the last one was the SSL set root. And that was what we called, I think, CMA. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go into storage path, we're going to do like a client set. Uh, so we can set it, cat the client of set, okay, so that's certificate for the client, copy that, put that in there, and I can use this storage client key, let's see, client, we've got the key, now we need, oh sorry, we got the certificate, now we're going to need key, yeah, open a text file, okay. Cat the key. And what we need is we need the, the, the ci.cert file as well. Yeah, it's also going to be a text file. Yes, cool. So that was in our Postgres 10 main. And it's going to be our ci file. Cool. Okay, also got a ci file. Okay, so let's see what happens when we try to run PHP migrate. Okay, sorry, wrong folder. Okay, so it's still complaining. So we got the verify full set mode client, this is our key set mode storage. Could not connect the server, connection refused, this connection running on accepting TCW 5432. Yeah, I believe it is. Could not connect the server, connection refused. Okay. So, what you need to do now is try to figure out on the server why we can't connect. So, it says possibly uh, that I screwed up on the... So, what we learned from here is always make sure that set number five four seven anyway i think it might be to double check that your server is actually running after restarting it all well, status postgres okay active exited postgres service so i loaded guess that maybe do net that minus all in we have five four three two Okay, looks like we're connecting. Okay, does not exist. Okay, so it says that my ca.cert file, okay, so the ca.cert file, I said it's that. But it's a good sign for something at least is looking for the ca.cert file. So the client.key, it says the client.key equals group or world access. Okay, so at least we kind of get that the Postgres client connector is saying that um, I can't connect because our permissions are way too 
way to liberal, which is a very good sign because the idea being is we just fix the key, then we should be able to fix our problems. Okay, so let's see. So, Rx, read, write, second, wait, I want to do fractions. Make it user equals write, read, group equals read, other equals minus read, write, and x. And then client dot key and then okay so let's see what happens if we do PHP artisans migrate okay so permission done now could not write private key permission okay so let's see why it's user equals read write group or oh, okay so that was other sorry my bad okay cool so let's See what happens if I try to run migrate. Okay, so it's group of all the access permission should be okay. Okay. Let's see. PHP Autosan migrate. Dev certificate for dev dungeon and eh, does not match. So it doesn't match host name. Okay, so interesting. So what happens by the looks of it is that the that probably the um, the common name of the certificate that you're using needs to match the the IP address of the database. So my assumption actually at the moment is that's because we've got the verify so the verified full checks the common name of the certificate to make sure that the the CI file that you've got matches the server. So if we do this, we've got a connection. So guys, we've now connected using SSL and certificates from a Laravel application to a Postgres server that um, enforces it. So let's say for the idea of if we say that We've got another storage, we've got something that says this, then okay, it's going to fail PHP. So if we do that, probably it will end up failing. If we let's say maybe leave out that, then it will end up failing. If we do that, it will end up failing. If we do that, end up failing. So We've now tested the negative and the positive, and we're absolutely sure that we are only being able to connect, we are only able to connect from Laravel to Postgres using SSL certificates. So, guys, have a good one. Till next time. Cheers.